of the, of, the, of, the, of, the, of, the, of the debate around the constitutionality of the health care law has cycled around the individual mandate that every American must have health insurance. But this is no first. Drivers are mandated to have car insurance. Kids are mandated to get vaccinated before they start school. And right here in New York, Mayor Bloomberg is even mandating that you can't buy more than 16 ounces of soda at a pop. So what else should we force people to do? And I will just throw it out to the group. I think that we should all be required to vote. I think it would it would be a rep, more representative uh, democracy if people actually had to go to the polls and vote. You would see less of an influence of money in politics because a lot of that money is spent, frankly, suppressing the vote. So, Steve, what do you think of my idea? I, yeah, I do think it's a good idea with, with a couple of caveats that I would throw on it. You know, number one is we say compulsory voting, and it's not actually voting that I would require people to do. I would require them to show up at the polls, sort of like you're required to show up at the courthouse if you get a summons for jury duty. It's your civic obligation. If you're there, you can cast a blank ballot, you know, whatever you want None to do. You don't above. actually have to vote for any particular candidate. I also don't think it's the kind of thing that you have to enforce with, like, you're going to jail if right. you don't vote. No, Australia has not. mandatory voting. For nominal fines, they get 94 to 96 percent participation. I think the biggest benefit of doing this is, think about our politics right now. Think of how much emphasis is placed on demographic groups, targeted right. turnout, sometimes the ugly side of that, suppressing the vote. Voter we don't suppression. want this group coming out. <laughs> mm -hmm. We want our people coming out. If neither no, I, party had to deal with that, I think we might have a different election. Uh, I totally agree. I want to see voting mandatory. And I would go even further. I want to see voting day be a holiday so nobody is yep. working. I want to see uh, voting registration be mandatory so when you get your driver's license, say, then you're automatically registered. I think there is a sort of functional disenfranchisement of the poor and the young that comes from taking another whole step to become registered. Right. And look, if you believe in America, if you believe in any nation that is democratic, then you understand you have to participate in that nation totally. um, and in the, in the process of choosing who governs and ultimately it's essential to the function and if you if you don't like government then you're going to say well I'm not going to vote because I don't like them and it's always the same guy that's the reason why you should run to the polls and get involved you know the best part about living in America is that you have the right to be stupid and lazy and I like having that right <laughs> and you this exercise absolutely. it all the time <laughs> this is absurd um, let me get this straight you think the very people who are so disengaged politically that they can't bother to vote. These are the people you want running to the polls by force, lest <laughs> they be charged with a crime. Do you think that the